The 16th letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Ein. The numeric value of Ein is 70. The pictogram or symbol behind the shape of the letter Ein is two eyes, seeing, watching. Rabbinical tradition has it that the letter represents the optic nerves of the two eyes, leading back to a solid foundation for life. The word Ein, spelled Ein Yud Nun, means I. The thought behind the letter Ein is easy to grasp. God is watching over us. He cares for us. He is the Good Shepherd. Psalm 23 is well known. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In Hebrew, Adonai Rui Lo Echsar. Adonai, the Lord. This is the Hebrew word Yud He Vav He, which represents the name of the Lord, which hints at the name of Jesus. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. He watches over us. The word Ein, spelled Ein Yud Nun, also means a spring, as in a spring of water in the desert. The land of Israel has a lot of wilderness area. It is also a land of winter rainfall with long dry summers. To find a spring of water in the desert is to find life. The first mention of a spring of water in the Bible is in chapter 16 of Genesis. Ein is the 16th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Chapter 16 of Genesis is also where Hagar calls God the one who sees. The two ideas behind the word Ein are brought together in one chapter, the 16th letter of the alphabet and the 16th chapter of the Bible. The previous letter of the Hebrew alphabet was Samech. Samech speaks of the Lord being our protection. He surrounds his people. He is our shield. Samech is the 15th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. At the start of the 15th chapter of the Bible, God promises Abraham that he will be a shield to him. Chapter and verse divisions were not in the original texts of the Bible. They were added later, but they were certainly added in places where there was a natural division in the unfolding story. So it's not as if God was surprised when man added numbered chapters and verses. There are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. The Bible starts with the 11 chapters in Genesis showing God rescuing a people for himself out of a fallen world through Noah and his family, kept safe in the ark. Then, in the next 11 chapters in Genesis, comes the story of Abraham, saved by faith and walking out a life of spiritual growth, his faith being tested. The 22nd chapter in Genesis speaks of Abraham and the sacrifice of Isaac, a father, offering his son. And the Bible ends with 22 chapters in the book of Revelation. Like the Hebrew alphabet, the 22 chapters of Revelation can be divided into the first 11 and the second 11. Returning to the thought of Ein, meaning I in Hebrew. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says that the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. In Jewish thought, to have a good eye is to be generous, open-hearted. To have an evil eye is to be stingy. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 22 relates an evil eye to someone always chasing after money. And the context of these words of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount is to do with money. The verses before the ones on having a good eye or an evil eye are where Jesus says, Store up treasures for yourself in heaven. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And the verses after the ones on having a good eye or an evil eye are where Jesus says, You cannot serve God and money. The context is money. To have a good eye is to be generous. And extreme generosity is what God demonstrated for us when he gave his only Son so that all who believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And Jesus, the Bible says, gave himself to be that sin offering. The numeric value of the letter Ein is 70. 70 is a significant number that shows up in Scripture in significant places. 
Jacob's family, a total of 70, went down to Egypt. When Jacob died, all Egypt mourned for him for 70 days. In Exodus chapter 15, we read about Israel in the wilderness of Sinai, after they had passed through the Red Sea. They came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy date palms. Springs of water, the Hebrew word for a spring is Ein, and seventy date palms, the numeric value of Ein is seventy. There were seventy elders of Israel, and the traditional ruling council of Israel, the Sanhedrin, comprised seventy men. Judah was seventy years in exile in Babylon. Daniel was told that seventy weeks, or seventy periods of seven, were decreed for Israel to finish with transgression. And a seventh reference to seventy in Scripture is found in Psalm 90. As for the days of our life, they contain seventy years. Seventy years in the Hebrew here is shivim shana. The numeric value of the phrase is 422 plus 355, which is 777, which is 37 times 7 times 3. To end the session, I want to draw your attention to a principle that Jewish rabbis follow as they study numeric patterns in the Torah. Words or phrases that have the same numeric value are usually related. For example, Lord God, Adonai, and the word yud he vav he has a numeric value of 91. There is a word for God found at Genesis chapter 31, verse 11, for example, Ha-Elohim. This also has a numeric value of 91. And so does the phrase, the Lord his trust, found at Jeremiah 17, verse 7, Adonai Miftacho. And so does servant of the Lord, Ovadia. And so does the phrase, son honors father, which we find at Malachi chapter 1 verse 6, ben yekavod av. And so does the word amen, all of which tells us a little something about the thought behind the word that we use at the end of prayers, amen. It is from the Hebrew root for faith and trust, but it is also an expression that is close to the heart of the father and of the son. Here is something interesting. Wine in Hebrew is yain. The numeric value of the word is 70. Secret in Hebrew is sod. And the numeric value of the word is also 70. We are familiar with the Latin expression in vino veritas, meaning in wine is truth, implying that someone who drinks too much wine is liable to blurt out the truth. And in modern Hebrew, they have a similar expression with the added interest that both the wine, which may cause someone to reveal a secret, and the word secret have the same numeric value, 70. I close with this to let you know that in the New Testament, the Greek word for God is theou, which has a numeric value of 484, which is 22 times 22. There are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, and every one of those letters points to Jesus in some form of his work or person. And the Greek New Testament word for holy is agio, which also has a numeric value of 484, which is 22 times 22. And our God certainly is holy. Now, think about this. Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, says that the number of the beast is 666. And the Greek New Testament word paradosis also has a numeric value of 666. And paradosis means tradition. The Christian faith is not about rules, it is not about rituals, and it is not about tradition. It is about a relationship with Jesus, the Good Shepherd, the one who died for you, who cares for you, who watches over you.